we should have this battle, but uh, I'm not gonna hold my breath. Nice. Time to take this guy out. <laughs> the one hit point. Trying to swim away. Help, help. Nope. Intelligence is going through the roof, but that's about it. That's some crazy strength right there. Looks like I might have to start bringing Goofy out and have him chase everyone. Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> oh, they wanted the fight. Ouch. Gotta oh, love that maelstrom. And we bounce right into another enemy. That's okay though. I have a trick I'm gonna use. Run away! Boing! And then we'll just come right back down here. And we'll come out with that group. Yeah, 
a minor setback. That's all right, though. Fighting an hour turf now. think we were going to finish that. That's definitely becoming a powerhouse group. Quite a bit weaker when on land. Kind of approaching an hour now, so I think after this fight, I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and uh, I'll just off-screen the rest of the fights so I can get this done and, you know, get along with the game and everything. Alright, 
right, folks. I'll be right back. All right, folks. I'm uh, coming back a little early. Um, taking too long in the game to uh, liberate everything, and that's actually hurting my reputation more than, uh, or quicker than I can uh, get it to go back up. So I'm gonna liberate this uh, temple over here real quick and show you uh, um, this little bit. Yeah, it was like every time I liberated a town, or a couple towns, then uh, my, my reputation would go up a point, and then all of a sudden it would go down a point once the day was over. So here we find the legendary White Sword Brunhild. With it, we can find the Chaos Gates and visit, visit the Sky Islands. It's a very powerful sword, and... Um, we needed to get to Sky Islands through the Chaos Gates, like it said, obviously. See, so yeah, I've got uh, Amanda going by herself with 100 alignment, but it's just not good enough and quick enough. I guess it would have helped if I put a flying unit with her, but I didn't. I don't think I had any with high enough alignment to uh, really make a difference. I don't know. I should uh, check that out to make sure I'm thinking about that accurately. Alright, hold on a sec here. needed, but okay. Yeah, I'd be a little mad too. After this, we should be done liberating. another town earlier that uh, talked about the ogre battle legend and unfortunately I didn't realize that's what they were going to say and I didn't record it. Sorry about that folks. Uh, and there is another town on an island southeast of here uh, where we can talk to Mango uh, just not until after the battle is over. Alright. Quite a bit of money there. Okay. Let's uh... Let's throw Warren in there first. And then we'll throw Goofy in. Yeah, she'll promise just about anything, I'd imagine. That hurt. 
Let's try some hermit power. With a blank screen again. Hey, that looked good. folks. Another one. not a successful fight. Oh my goodness. I don't want to kill all these mermaids with cards, but it's looking like I'm going to have to. It's looking like I should have just brought, was it lands or something? Brought his group and just slaughtered them all. See, those front mermaids keep coming back full health, which means my melee fighters aren't doing a thing. However, if I kill a bunch of mermaids with cards, this can give all the, those experience points to my leader, and that'll get him to be overpowered. Want that. Now, if Warren can do one more hit, we'll be alright. Hopefully this is it.
this isn't gonna be it. Mermaid suit for everybody, yay! All right, Ooh, shoot some fireworks. Oh man, folks, this was a long one. Ah. All right, so now that we've cleared that, we have two uh, uh, battles over here we can do. Valley of Castro and Belmorian Ruins. Well, we're going to head for this one next, though. But I'm going to go ahead and quit for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.